my soul this morning. Make it your prayer. Make it your Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Let the Lord hear your voice. Register your presence before the throne this morning. it touch every aspect of your life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our gracious Lord, we thank you for this morning. We ask that you send forth light and truth and let it bring us to the holy mountain. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? Amen. amen. How is your leg this morning? Amen. Is your leg okay? Did the angels massage it? Shout hallelujah. So now you can do all things, right? Through Christ that strengthens you. We did our first rally yesterday. Yeah. Amen. Those of you who didn't come, I'm looking at you somehow. Uh, somehow. There's a way I'm beginning to suspect you. Whether you are really part of what is happening here. Well, you have another opportunity on Monday, tomorrow. After Monday, I will now decide if you are with me or you are not with me. I told you that from June, I'll bring out another face. The Bible says, Ezekiel saw a creature that had four faces. Sometimes it's lion, sometimes it's calf, sometimes it's man, and all the rest. Sometimes ego. It all depends. But with the hand, some of you are bringing. Uh, I may need to become a little bit wiser in my dealing with you so that I don't dissipate my image. I say, don't give that which is precious to. It's you that said it. I didn't want to say it. Uh, so I need to know where and how to invest. A wise man invests wisely. Are you understanding? Okay. If I, your pastor, we trek and run around, then you lie down on your bed. It's an error. If I don't tell you, I will not be doing well. If you didn't come, stand up. Uh, stand up. Just get up. Get up. Unashamedly get up. Yes. Uh, you see. <laughs> I received Jesus in 1993. How old were you? Some of you are not born. And I've been serving him since that time. And I have not felt too big to go for rally or evangelism. Some of you are, you are near the kingdom. You are not even entered. <laughs> and it has become a very big thing. You have another opportunity on Monday. I told myself this morning, you cannot avoid me in public and want to identify with me in secret. You didn't hear my language. If you can't identify with me in public, can you imagine you want to date a girl and you don't want anybody to know? It's only in secret you want to have something to do with her. When you come outside, you say, please, just stay on your own. That's deception. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? This is not a filling station. This is a church. And it's a family. So 
So if we are doing things here, I am not a part of it. I will look at you somehow. And I have set my heart. If you also approach me for something, I will handle it the way you are handling what you are doing here. But we are not joking. Are you hearing me? More than 100 brethren trekked from here, moved around everywhere. And you were somewhere. And this morning you have come. Then if I say, God bless you, you want to receive it. Eh? Should I show you scripture? Let me not show you because it will take time to show. But let me tell you. The Bible says that those who feed you with the word of God, you should be careful with them. That if you offend them, it will not go well with you. If I get angry with you, it's already a problem between you and God. Because of the authority I carry here. You know, there are certain things I don't say. There are certain things I know. I because God put me there. And, and you can't take it away. Unless you are not under this covering. Are you hearing me? The annoyed Moses, the man lay down. Ground opened and swallowed people. Peter asked, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit? That was the end of it. Be careful. Be very, very careful. When I make announcements, it's not a joke. We may be smiling and shining 32. It's an instruction. This is a nation. And when the king calls a nation, they must respond. We are not civilians. We are soldiers. Are you hearing me? You must do it. If at this age, you pamper with weakness, from morning, I was at zoo garden with the children till 1 p.m. Playing with the children's church. Dealing with them. Helping them play till 1 p.m. I went home. Rested one hour. Came out again. And you, that is not even up to 20. If you can't use your youth to serve God, when will you serve him? And time is not on your side. You may think time is on your side. So I'm here this morning to rebuke you. Rebuke, rebuke you. Where, 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 where? Go back. I want it to enter into your soul. You did not do well. And don't do it again. Did you hear me? If on Monday I don't see you here, there is a way, there is a way I will start looking at you. Honestly, I will look at you one way. And you won't like that way. And I will report you. Yes, I'll report you to God. Say that you are making my work difficult. And it's not a nice thing if your pastor reports you to God. Go and find out. Go and ask any genuine pastor. Say, what does it mean for a man of God to kneel down? Instead of pleading on your behalf and say, God, whatever this guy does, please have mercy. Some of the things you receive, you never prayed for them. You don't even know how they came. You don't even know how it was sourced. You only wake up and you see things and you are smiling. And then you are misbehaving. Stop misbehaving. Are you hearing me? I don't train those who are not responsible. You must be. If I'm committed to you, you must be committed to me. It's a must. If you don't want to be committed to me, check somewhere. I'm not gathering snakes. It's an army. And they must learn to take instruction. Are you hearing me? Forgiving. Hmm. They will not see in this side. Don't worry. Those who are close to me, they know that once in a while that face comes out. But it's fine. Are you okay? I'm okay too. All right. But by tomorrow we will know if we are okay. Praise God. Our okay is half. I'm half okay. I'll keep it. By tomorrow we'll complete the okay. Is that fine? Today is the last Sunday in the month. I thought you would celebrate Jesus. All right. I just want to bring a word to you and be a blessing to you. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9. Isaiah 1 9. Isaiah 1 9. Let's read together everybody. Want to go now. I said the Lord of hosts has left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been a Sodom, and we should have been like God was made. Someone say, God forbid. I didn't hear. Say, God forbid. Tell your neighbor, God forbid. 
I will never be like Sodom and Gomorrah. What does it mean? It simply means that this is your father, this is your God, has a way of ensuring that he leaves a remnant. That's one of the reasons why he sends rain. So that the remnant can revive and fill the earth again. God has a policy. God has a plan. God has a program to ensure that you don't finish. This morning is somebody's morning. I don't care what has been taken. All through scriptures, you will always find that God has a way of even if everything is finishing and collapsing, he will keep something. And why does he keep it? He keeps it so that he will pour rain upon it and that little thing will do what? Multiply and fill up the whole space again. Go through from Genesis to Revelation. It is the nature, it is the character of God. He has never left us without a remnant. That's why you may be struggling academically. All of a sudden, you make one A. Has it ever happened to you? Talk to me. Has, has it ever happened? The semester was not looking good. It was just D, F, D, 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 E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, as if you took direct entry. You know, D is direct entry. <laughs> Praise God. All of a sudden, you went to the board, you saw A. And it's not a small A, 99. And you were the best in the class. And everybody was saying, did you sort? I said, no, it's my result. What's God saying? He's only telling you. Forget about the D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E. There is something in you that I need to pour in on. You are an A person. Excuse me. Do you need to kill two lions before they call you a bug? How many? Just one. One A makes you an A student. But because you don't know, you have not called on rain and say, God, pour rain so that this A will fill everywhere. I don't just want small, small A. <clears throat> there is always this small light that remains. Hey, is somebody catching me? There's always this ray of hope that doesn't finish. There's always this thing that God does that makes you to believe again and say, mm, I'm not God. He said, if the Lord of hosts didn't leave us a small remnant, we are still talking is a remnant too, and yet it's small. He said, do you know we would have become like Sodom and Gomorrah. We would have finished completely I don't know about you, but it happens. You come to a point, it's as if everything is collapsing. Suddenly, something unexpected happens. You just smile a little and beat yourself and say, ah, he's still with me. I thought he has abandoned me completely. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. But God sent me this word. He said, <clears throat> I will not make an end. You are not finished because it is finished. What would have finished you? What happened? He finished it. He's only asking you to rise up and say, Lord, what are it for me? Pour rain upon this so that it can spread again. Just be checking, you know, you know, I'm wondering, I say, Lord, all the children of Job, they were dying one, 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 one. Do you remember? But there's always somebody who will come and report that they have died. Eh? But there was a remnant. Can I tell you the remnant? Job and the wife. If two of them had died, any hope? There's no hope. And these two people met again. 
and double their children. So the rain came and stopped menopause. And say, stop. They will still receive what I planned and in double fold for touching them. Whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye. That's why you shouldn't be touching me by not coming for rally. You do hear me? There is a remnant. I know when you walk around, you see naked people everywhere. Eh? But there are some clothed people. They are the remnant. And we are asking rain to fall upon them so that they feel everywhere in campus. You enter your department, every lecturer is collecting bribe. Some are even going to sleep with girl and they are posting it. Did you see the video? <laughs> but yet, there are some that take you by the hand and they are tutoring you without pay. Eh? They are even giving you money even though you are their project student. Remnant. What God is only showing is that I still have something, no? Ah! Somebody think he has left. Now lie! He hasn't left. Why your pastor full everywhere? There are still pastors. Am I talking to somebody? Remnant. There is something he's keeping. Kima Shanta Kuria. You enter a family. Everybody is crawling on the land. But there is still one that carries light. Everybody drinks and falls into the gutter. They are fighting and breaking bottle. There is still one separating them. They make no fight. They said, get out. Carry this your church thing. Go away here. That's the remnant. And God is saying, I will take that seed and recrop the earth. I will take that particular species. You know, every human being is a species. I want to take this species and reproduce it all over the earth. When Jesus entered the scene, he just took about 12 people. They were just seeds. And you know, today is Pentecost Sunday. It was in an upper room like this. When he has multiplied them to 120. He said, this 120 is supposed to cover the heads. But what are we going to do? We need to pour the rain of the Spirit upon them. So that wherever they go, they will start multiplying. Eh? You don't know the joy of having a child and the child looks like you. And some of you are not married. You don't understand. How can you marry? All your four children, no one is looking like you. The closest one that looks like you looks like neighbor. You won't know the agony of God when he doesn't have a remnant. So he's jealous over the remnant. He said, mm -mm. Her guy was prophesying. He said, is there any of you that is left that saw this temple in its former glory? He said, Abi now is looking as if it's nothing. He said, don't worry. I am going to send another level of glory. If you are here and there is still a remnant, there is still something remaining. This morning is for you. Eh? When they took the eyes of Samson, you know, I was, I was talking with Baba. I said, Baba, where is the remnant now? They took his eye. They took his hair. But God told me they didn't take his head. No matter how you shave your hair, the hair follicle is still there. That's the remnant. And from that hair follicle, what will happen? Something will shoot out again. <laughs> Some of you looking at me, the enemy is dancing, thinking he has finished. Now lie. Something. This morning, we just do what? Shoot out again. He said, ah. We thought that uh, we have finished with these boys. Oh. Their type don't die like that. I went to Ghana, they showed me a tree. 
They call it the tree of life. I've never seen that kind of thing. You cut the tree. I mean, you cut it and throw away the branch. Anywhere you like, throw the branch. That branch will start growing. It's amazing. I even had to go and sit down on the DC and say, in case that's how life enters. You remove the leaves. Throw it away. I didn't say plant. Just throw it away. Casually. Meet it in a few weeks' time. It's growing. You uproot it. Remove the root. Throw away the root. Meet it in a few weeks' time. It's growing. I said, God, you are speaking. And that's the kind of man God wants to make you. See, if the Lord has not left us a remnant, if he didn't keep something for us. Maybe very tiny hope you came to church with this man. Hope is already gone. You know, the mistake the devil made, and he will always make mistake, because they bruise his head. When they bruise your head, you keep making mistake. He finished Israel, but he left their bones. I wish he swallowed the bones. So when he left, they would say, we have, we have finished that. We have consumed everything. They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, they bro dry the bone. They put it in dryer and dried it. And God called his prophets and said, shall these bones live? Say, thou knowest. Say, it's okay. <laughs> you have answered well. You know, a man caught butterfly and asked the child, is the butterfly alive or dead? He said, Oga, now you savvy. If I say now it's dead, you will open your hand and release it. If I say it's alive, you only need to squeeze your hand a little. Butterfly will die. Oga, now you go decide. As bony as you may appear, as bony as life may be, no flesh. No life at all. Nothing. Stagnant. He says, shall he live? He said, prophesy to it. I came to prophesy this morning. You see these bones like this? They are going to live. A mighty army must arise from it. These are the kind of things that have carried me over the years. I will always look for that thing that is remaining because there is something that is remaining. And some of us, we have not yet understood the power of what is remaining. Jesus said, gather the fragments that nothing be lost. And I was shocked that the remnants filled how many baskets? Twelve. As if the apostles carried one basket home. Everybody carry one, even Judas. God is so kind, even to his enemies. He makes his rain to fall upon them. This morning, a bruised reed will not break. A smoking flax is not going to quench. I don't know how you entered. But I have a strong sense in my spirit. That there is need for you to start rebuilding from the remnant. There is still something that is remaining. You are not finished. It's not yet over. The battle is not ended. I don't care if you have suffered loss. Mm -mm. I don't care if you have lost years. No. What is important is that there is a remnant. Job chapter 14 verse 7. Job 14 7. God will always leave something. There's always something he will leave. For there is hope of a tree. If it be what? Cut down. You cut down a tree. Say, hey, we have killed it. You know the enemy likes boasting. Say, we have finished that boy. We have finished him. 
at a point in life, I looked finished. <laughs> I was looking finished. Ah, oh God, in this land, this land make me look finished. Have you been walking on the road before you think they are discussing you? Has it happened? You just be going. People are discussing their matter. And something is telling you, it's you they are talking about. And you are crying. Eh? The tree was cut down. But the Bible says, it will sprout again. I don't know what has been cut down. It's possible your prayer life has been cut down. <laughs> Wake up that sister. I'm not going through dreams. You need to be seeing me, eh? But as you behold. <laughs> it takes beholding for transformation. No dream at all. Just be awake. And that tender brand thereof will not cease. There's something you think has finished. But I have good news for you. It hasn't finished. It has not finished. What I have seen God do in my life makes me have faith for you. I have strong confidence in the one you came to worship this morning. That even though the tree has been cut down, background, it's going to sprout again. But how will it do? Is by the scenting of the water. Go to verse 8. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk even die inside the ground, what happens? Yet. Can I hear you say yet? Yeah. What is yet? Give me another word for yet. Eh? Yeah. I didn't hear you. Still, yes. What again? Yet. However. Hey. Thank you. How and ever they lie, let them try. However, life is looking now. However, there's another word I'm looking for. Nevertheless. Just bring everything you think is negative in your life and cancel it with nevertheless. There's another word. Notwithstanding. What is notwithstanding? Nothing withstanding me. Not minding what I think it is. <laughs> oh God. Through the scent of water, it will bought. See, do you know why I believe in everybody I see? It's because of this. I'm very careful to write anybody off. How can you put full stop when God put comma? You just summarize somebody and say you are an idiot. Full stop. And God looks at what you call idiot and say, I'm not called it idiot. I will pour water on it. And God begins to pour water, pour water, pour water, pour water, pour water, pour water, pour water. Ah! I remember when I was a remnant like this. <laughs> ah! Life was hard. I went to see a friend. Because he finished graduating before me, I went to see her in Zenith Bank. It took her two hours to come down to see me. Two hours. Only to appear and give me 2,000. I say, please, you know, say, don't come back here again. These are her exact words. I looked at neck. I say, me, don't come back here again. Ah, when a king is in the wilderness, it's a terrible matter. You just look at him, you misunderstand him. Even if you are Shima, you start cursing him. By the scenting of water. I say, ah. I cry from Enugu to Soka. You know what it means to travel from Soka to Enugu? Wait two hours. Get 2,000 with insults. Ah! 
has somebody given you something and you lost the appetite for that because of the insult that was on top of it? When you see me cry, it's because I have looked at and said, How? One day, one man saw me inside campus saying, no, saying, Allow God to finish what he's doing with your life. I said, What is he doing? The life was without form and void. Darkness has covered everywhere. You say he's doing something. What exactly? I say, excuse me, sir. With due respect, you are a father in the Lord. What is God doing? Tell me. Have you not come to that point? But there is a room, something somewhere. I made up my mind. I said, I will live in Soka land. My friend said, Yes. Change school, change to another university. I was planning. And I had that voice. Say, you are going nowhere. You know, sometimes you relocate because of shame. You didn't hear me. You just packed off of uh, hilltop to dim. It's not because you love the church. <laughs> There's a shame that caught you there. Everybody knows you there, they are an ancient lion. Your carry over, carry you over to them. And you are saying, Ish. And you know sometimes when life is going like that, your problem is not the problem. Your problem is who will even believe me, self. I know I have capacities. Keep at that. Something in me tells me I have capacity. You fail one course like this. And all the people that failed one course, you laid hand on them, they passed. You failed your own. God said, go and rewrite it. He said, Shkima labo sinda. Santo Kabula. I said, go and write it. But inside, there is this little light that tells you, mm, there is a tomorrow. There is something. But, but, what is surrounding the remnant of hope is trying to squeeze it. The promises that God made to you compare with your background. Your background is laughing at the promise. So we make you an eternal excellence. <laughs> the joy of many generations. <laughs> Say, thank God we are finished, Isaiah. Let's just go to New Testament and find something else. Which one is eternal excellence? Joy of many generations. How? Your father has not crossed Benin. And God is showing you dream that you are flying all around the nation. Faith will not be easy. <laughs> but there is a remnant. Hey, the tree has been caught. Yet, Despite all this, notwithstanding, by the scenting of water, it will board. Can you bring this in message Bible? Bring this in message Bible. I feel like praying. Bring it to verse 7. Verse 7. For a tree, there is always hope. Are you a tree? Are you a tree? You are. The Bible says we are trees of righteousness. <laughs> the planting of the Lord. Each time I remember God planted me here. There's nothing you can do about it. The only person who has capacity to uproot me is the one that rooted me. There is always hope for a tree. Much more when you plant it by the rivers of water. It will bring forth fruits every season. Chop it down! It still has a chance. Don't help me touch somebody. Say, I have chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is a vehicle you must not enter. I should tell you. One chance. Enter the vehicle of many chances. Put it down. It has chance. Can I say to you, you have chance. Tell you never I have chance of becoming all God wants me to be. All 
that the devil wants to convince you is that your chance has finished. So it's okay. It's my final chance. Look, this is not who wants to be a millionaire. Say, call a friend. You call a friend. Your friend failed it. Say, 50-50, 50-50 fail. You say, last chance. And your heart is beating. No. God is our chance. If fruits can put out fresh sprouts, <laughs> so you, you need to put out something fresh. Something that has never been. Not the dry thing you used to do. Mm -mm. Go ahead. That's it. Even if it roots are old and nailed, it's stomp. Long. What? Dormant. Is there any of your life in the area that is dormant? Nothing that happened there. Five years. Nobody has sent you credit. Nobody. You dress and you pass. Nobody says you are beautiful. You come back, you ask your roommates, is there anything wrong with this hair? They say, we don't even know. <laughs> it's dormant. <laughs> eh? ah. Oh God, can you move back? I want to come down. You know your account can be dormant. <laughs> Nothing coming. Nothing going. Even Access Bank have stopped collecting their bank charge. Because there is nothing to collect again. In our Greek, there is something we call dormant seed. A seed is in the ground and you don't know. The only thing that can pull it up is water. The seed is there. Brother, there is a seed in you. I came this morning to provoke it. There is an unction that is in you. There is a grace that is in you. I didn't know the word of God was in me until I went for Bible study somewhere. And they were contributing. I contributed. Everybody turned and looked at me. Just instantly, they just turned like this. Like, who said that? I was like, have I offended these people? I went to my say, God, why did they look at me like that? He said, take yourself serious. I said, I should take myself serious. He said, yes. I said, okay. I didn't know. He said, there is something I put there. Friends, there is something there. Ordinary eyes cannot see it. <laughs> I know some of you, the way I treat you and the way I greet you even bothers you. Are there people like that? I say, why is he greeting me like this? <laughs> this person doesn't know I'm just, <laughs> I'm just nothing. <laughs> so I'm nothing. <laughs> the problem is that the carrier of the seed is blind to the seed. And even sometimes the people that get back to you are over blind. So they just look at you. <laughs> I say, stupid boy. <laughs> you will fail like me. That's a father addressing a son. Say, you will fail like me. Your mother made me fail. You will fail. That one is not a scenting of water. That one is hot water. It kills seed. Why do you think God doesn't rain hot water? It will not allow anything sprout. The stump has been dormant. But he's not dead. But he's just what? Dormant. Tell your neighbor, I'm alive. Uh, I'm, I'm just dormant now. <laughs> eh? I'm just, I'm just dormant. <laughs> have, you, have you experienced dormancy? Eh? Have you seen a phase of your life that you are very dormant? And your friends are asking, nah, you know what? Are you here? Right? Say, I'm there. Nothing is happening. You are just rewarding yourself with food. Have you been there before? That's, you, just, you just wake up, you say, I reward myself with meal. You just eat good food, you lie down, you wake up. You just, no dream, no vision, no nothing. 
There is a season like that. It's dormancy. But what happened? Verse 9. And the first whiff of water. What will happen? Comes to life. But grows like a sapling. I have pastored young people for a long time. Sometimes when I see them, when rain has fallen on them, I say, now nah, you be this. He said, now nah, me, you. I say, ah! 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 I said, now nah, you be this. <laughs> I didn't know you would be like this, but I knew something, something about you. I want to ask the God of heaven, you know why I like you taking pictures? Please keep them. You know why? There's something called before and after. <laughs> ah. If I send you my pictures as a student, there was no form. How many of you have seen some? Ah. When I posted it in CU Senior Friends platform, they asked me, how did mommy agree to marry you? That's the question somebody asks. I say, even me, I'm still asking that question. Because even if I was a sister, I wouldn't have married myself. <laughs> hey, you don't understand. Are, are you, unless God, God, appears to me, as innocent, I will kill you. Marry this one. If I was a lady, the way I was looking, Jesus. <laughs> With my portmanteau bag. I'll carry it like this, checking the whole campus. When you hear that the base of the air have nowhere to lay their head, I know what he's talking about. No money for accommodation, brother Ben. Anywhere the night falls, that becomes my house. I'm not playing. If I visit you by seven, just know <laughs> I'm sleeping over. Don't, don't even ask me questions. But one thing was going with me. When I come in the brain, I excited. They say, but you, but you, know, you will sleep over. You will sleep. I say, ah. The Bible says Jesus did as if he was going. I will do as if I was going. I say, no. Abide with us. And abide with us means my meal is secure. And why are they saying abide with us? They say so that we will have devotion in the morning. They are sure there is a scripture I will share with them. So scripture was feeding me room to room. Oh God. Dormancy. I don't know why God woke me up and said, This is what you will say. I was struggling. I said, God, how does it connect to what I say? Yeah. I will pour in on dormant areas. Things that have gone dormant. It's no more there. But God says, I will, I will pour water on it so that it will come alive. I met a woman sometime. I just looked at her. I knew that the woman has died. You know, the man in a man can die and the man is alive. I say, Lord, this woman has died though. But she's still around. She's still moving. Everything has become dormant. I don't know who I'm talking to. Can you go and dust your dream book again? Eh? You used to write it. You were writing it. All of a sudden, you closed it. It has gathered dust. It will not happen. You have left it. Just because you encountered opposition on the way. Say no, it will not happen again. This morning, a bruised reed he will not break. A smoking flax, he will not quench it. He will blow on it until it comes alive. God says, I want to pour rain upon the testy ground. When I see you, I have confidence. 
Some people say, what are you doing with young people? I say, you are blind. You cannot see. There are plenty of things I cannot see. I pastored a young man, Ken. <coughs> ah, Ken had no form. He was in pharmacy. He had no shape. And he was in charge of equipment like this. Ken would just come, come back from lecture, come and fix things. Ah, it was terrible. For Ken to eat is a matter. The day Cain was going for interview, there was no suit to wear. He borrowed <coughs> an iron. <coughs> iron burnt somebody's trouser that day. The one he borrowed. You know, when the devil is chasing you, he will chase you to the uttermost. The trouser was torn here by iron. Of course, it was already late. He wore it like that. And went. He got the job. He did call me. He said, he's coming to soccer. I said, Ken, what are you coming to do? <laughs> I've been praying. <laughs> you know, sometimes you keep praying, praying over a matter. You share the grace and say, mercy, take over. <laughs> he walked in here. <laughs> I think I was coming out. I saw him driving a car. I said, I'm going to go to must you borrow car to come and see me? See, Daddy, I say, Ken, what's happening? See, Daddy, I came to greet you. I say, whose car? <laughs> say, it's my own. I say, you. How? And he opened up. As he was walking out of that office, here was not tile though. It was just dust. He said, how much will it take to tile here? I looked at him and said, Ken, come. <laughs> you, know, you know, some of you, when you become pastors, you don't ask questions. Somebody who has not been eating gives you 10 million. You say, hallelujah. No. I said, Ken, how? Dial here? I said, it will cost almost 600,000. Then, say, it's not a matter. I said, but let's get back to my office. Let's talk. <laughs> I said, Ken, sit down. How are you going to get 600? Ah, I said, Daddy, uh, I'm a sales rep now. I also have my own company that I'm running. I say, you? I say, yes. <laughs> no, I also came to tell you I want to marry now. I say, you? <laughs> ah, Jesus. Say yes. I say it's okay. I told the leaders that a brother said you will send money for the something. I said, I'll give him an account. I gave him an account. In less than 10 minutes, that money did bag up. One person tired this thing. So when you are lying down on the floor, be careful. <laughs> it's somebody, because some of you always fall under anointing. If it is to be sand, you won't fall the way you are falling. <laughs> You will need ushers to help you down. <laughs> and God has taken him. The last time he came, I said, Jesus. Nobody in this ministry pays tithes more than him. Nobody. Nobody. It comes, <laughs> it comes with, uh, are you understanding? He came back, the other day, he asked me, who built this house? I said, it's one brother. He said, please give me his number. I want to build a house in my village. Let him build for me. I recommended a young man. Friends, I'm not preaching. I'm just sharing. And I want to stop sharing. I want to pray. As a spirit in this meeting that causes dormant lives to thrive again. I don't care what has kept you dormant. I don't care what has kept you in one place for a long time.
Last Sunday, he said to us, blow the trumpet. Because the season must change. You must enter into another phase of life. And that dormancy will just shift. And the river will start flowing. Understanding will start flowing. Wisdom will start flowing. The dormancy must finish. I want you to attack every dormant area of your life in prayer. And say, mm -mm. this is not how it's supposed to be. I can't be in one place marking time. Mm -mm. And the interesting thing is that you are marking time, people are going. We won't mark time. Even for the prodigal son. Even though he's eating with pigs, everything has not finished. One day, that small light hit him. Bah! He said, eh? Why should I be here? Eating like this. When in our house, even ordinary servants are doing better. The Bible says he rose up and began to move towards the river that never dries. That river of compassion that never dries. That river of power that never dries. As he was moving, the river was also coming towards him. The Bible says Baba saw him from afar and rose up to embrace him. Of course, in Baba's house, there is no emergency. Eh? You know, you can visit somebody and say, why did you come by now? Eh? We have, you know, some families, when they finish night food and you come, you will sleep like that. Have you been to such places? You will sleep like that. Say, we have summarized. We have washed plates. We have locked the cupboard till morning for breakfast. When he came in. Baba just did that like this. Clothes? Nobody said, let's go and make it. No. They made it waiting for him. They knew that dormancy will end. Shoes? He said, we have it, sir. What about ring? He said, we have it. The calf that we have been growing. They said, oh, Baba, so it was because of her that all of us have been running around keeping cow. Like nomads, he said, yes. He upon whom the desire of Israel is for has come. Bring it. Musicians, they didn't behave like Nigerian DJs. That when they, it's time for the girl to dance out, they say the man went to urinate. They will not handle your traditional wedding. Because you will cry that day. It was time to dance out. You have already carried wine. Your father has given you. Now dance and show us the person. DJ! Assistant DJ. They were not around. They said music. And it began. The boy couldn't believe it. That a once dormant man in the pig industry is the one they are celebrating. Of course, when the elder brother came, he's not used to music. He's used to work. Say, so why are they celebrating? We are here for labor. <laughs> they say your brother that was dormant has come alive again you don't know the joy that you will bring when you come alive when things begin to work for you it will start working for many people you is not you you is us and because of the us the rain has to fall so this morning as we enter the place of prayer Will you say, Lord, I want to gather the fragments before this month ends. If there is a place rain has not fallen, if there is a portion that is still remaining, if there is this dormant area, people don't even know I have these gifts. They don't even know that this thing exists. Some of you fear has made you dormant. You are so afraid of life. You have not expressed yourself fully. But this morning, this morning, your background will not tie you again. There has to be an expression where you need to come to the river 
I see the river flowing towards you. But you also need to flow towards the river and say, Lord, I come. I won't be dormant. I will not be dormant. I will not. Academically, I will participate. I'm a partaker in life. I didn't come to be a spectator in destiny. Will you like to respond to the Lord this morning? Respond to Jesus. Respond to the Lord. Let the cause of dormancy be broken this morning over your life. Mm. If you rise on your feet, we will pray together. Just be on your feet. Mm. A journey is about to start. It will affect your family. I've seen it over and over again. I have confidence. Lord, I have seen you do this for young people many times. I've seen you break dormants and be they begin to flow in a realm they never knew existed. Talk to the Lord this morning. Talk to him. Holy Spirit, from person to person, let the river flow towards them. No dormancy again. There will be a joy that will fill your soul. You will be excited about living again. The altar is open. If the Lord says, run out there. I want to pour water on you. Shasima nabade. Reno kabeledo. Ena beledo busi kantabrala. Ena zere. I won't be dormant again. Use your mouth. Be your own prophet. Be your own prophet and say, Lord, I will not be dormant. By the scenting of the water. By the scenting of the water. By the scenting of the water. There is a scenting of the water. Take that song, you have helped me before, you will help me again. God has helped a generation before. There will be a remnant. By the scenting of water, a remnant is coming by that scenting. There is a scenting of water. You will help me mm. again. There is a scenting of water. I depend on you. I know you are dependable over I this life. Jesus. Mm. I depend. By the scenting of water. By the scenting of water. I Release yourself for this 15 minutes. In as a You have helped me in the past. Come on, worship Jesus. You will help me again. You have helped me in the past. You can't run around in circle anymore. You will help me. I will love you. Jesus. I will be an opening that will take you to the next place. Jesus. 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 Fight that dormancy on your niche. Fight that dormancy on your niche. Amen. For you have helped me in the past. Jesus. Jesus. You have Jesus. 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 That dormancy. You have helped me There is a dormancy in this life. 
Let the rain fall now. Let the rain fall. Pray for him if you really care. Pray for her if you really care. She's battling a dormancy. There's an area that has become like cake. Rain must melt that thing. That area, you don't want to talk about it again. You have closed it because of disappointment. You have failed many times there, you want to close it. The Lord is opening a new chapter. Somebody pray. I hope she's praying for you. I hope he's praying for you. Jesus. 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 From family to family. From person to person. Don't ask him how he will do it. His glory will go for you. Oh, talk to him with boldness. Respond to him. Even if it has been a pattern in your family, everything is dumb and bad. Nobody is excited, nobody is shouting, nobody is glad. It appears everything is on a standstill. A body will continue to be standstill until a force moves it. Oh, prayer is a force. Apply the force of prayer in the spirit. Sando Robokudi. Sari Bakudiyama. Reno Borobosin. Sarabakorobonde. In Barabadea. In Nakarabarode. In Kankarabadezi. Shanamana Badagade. Oh, the Lord who have told us. Oh, we help you. Zenen Bolobo. In a cabida do, in a cabanda ladadi, Zeno Cabula de. Oh, your mouth will do the work. Zenedoba in a dedi, in a cambandale, in Oko Benia, in a badika do, in a bedia, oh, Ribadima, Zando Robocuri, Zana Cabida do, in a bede, is the man prayer life. Oh, Rebebe, receive water. Receive water. Let it rain. They are pouring water on you. The angels are going row by row. Oh, there's a remnant. You can't finish. Somebody, you are the remnant of that family. You are the one still standing. You are the one still remaining. The only light shining. Oh Lord, brighten it. Lord, brighten it. The Holy Ghost is here. Lift everybody now. Be on your own. Be on your own. The Lord is facing men head on low. Hey, remnant. Hey, remnant. Revive the that fellowship. There is a remnant. In that community, where are you? God has been speaking to you about your community. Run out there. Run out there. You thought you will avoid it. He said, No. It's a remnant matter. If not, we'll be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, remnant. There is a remnant. There is a remnant. Oh, God. Oh, if not for God, if not for God, oh my God, you will not finish in UN. God will not allow you to be a ruin in UN. Nobody will ruin your career. Thank you, Jesus. That cause will not ruin your career because you are a remnant. Somebody pray. Glory to God. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Gather energy from this meeting. You will run. You will not be worried. Nobody has ever risen in that family. That's why you are hearing this message. You will rise. We rise. You will rise. We rise. Like an eagle. In the name of the Lord. Let the wind blow. Let the wind blow. Hey, talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Put down your name. I am among the remnant. I am among them. I am among them. Everybody will not perish. If the we all shall not sleep, everybody will not go down. There are those that will not go down. 
It appears you are losing strength. But strength is coming again. The Lord is resuscitating you. He's pouring water. Oh, pray. In Sakatebiato, oh, pray. In Sadekanate, oh, pray. In Savane, to oh, pray. Zita Venako, Savane, to pray. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord will pass. There's a strength coming for you. The Lord has come for you this morning. The Lord has come for you. I Remnant. They killed your elder brother. They cannot kill you. You are a remnant. You are a remnant.
before I begin to pray for you. Just pray and say, Lord, something is remaining in me. It may just be a quiet voice that has been encouraging you. Sando Robo Kuria. Just pray that prayer before I pray for you. The wisdom of God will sort you out. Pray that prayer. Give me that song. Pray that prayer. The wisdom of... Bring the broken pieces. That's what I'm saying. Bring the thing that has scattered. Let the spirit be that rules the earth. Gather it together. Oh, my 
He knows everywhere you have been through. Almost only in gathering this year. He knows what you have been in and out. That's why you need to gather it and bring it so that his wisdom can sort it out. We take that song two more times. And then you sing for me a book in the because the Lord wants to move for them. The Lord wants to add on their behalf. everybody. Amen. Your case must be different. Amen. Your case must be different. Amen. Because you are a remnant. Amen. Keep those hands up. Lord, I bring the blessing. Right. You will not go in the way of every other person. Amen. What killed them you have already escaped. Amen. They killed every child but they couldn't kill Jesus. Amen. May the Lord carry you to safety. I didn't hear you. I said, may the Lord carry you to safety. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That which has always limited people in your lineage. I declare that you are bigger than it. I declare that you have overgrown it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you are a remnant. May the Lord fortify you. May the Lord pour water upon you. From today, let things begin to spring up. Let opportunities begin to spring up. Let doors begin to spring up. Let ideas begin to spring up. No more no, demands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray for these ones that have run to you at this altar. I say no more demands. Whatever has kept you in one place, let there be light. Amen. Hey, I pray for direction. Amen. I command fear to leave you alone. Amen. The next step you will take will bring joy to you. Amen. I command fear of taking steps. I don't know who I'm talking to. The fear of taking steps has made you dormant. Let that fear go away. Amen. Receive faith to take steps. May the results you will get by your obedience surprise you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You will see the glory of the Lord Amen. in the land of the living. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name. Celebrate Jesus.
Do we have fighters in the house? Please, can you rise to your feet? If you have your tithes or you transferred to the bank account, you can rise to your feet for prayers. Can you begin to speak to the Lord concerning the tithe in your hand? Tithe is an acknowledgement that we know that all we have, we have received from the Lord. It is a renewal of our covenant of relationship, our covenant relationship with him regarding our finances. He said he will rebuke every devourer for our sake. He will break every dormant. Lord, thank you. Lord, from the abundance you have given us, we've brought this as a token. Lord, to say that we acknowledge you are the giver of all things. Lord, we ask, may this tithe be used for the advancement of your work and your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Can we rise with our offerings? Cast your ties, the ushers are around you with the basket. Can we rise to our feet with our offerings? You can also transfer to the bank account, First Bank. That's an offering. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, this offering in our hands, you said we should bring them into your house. Lord, thank you for the provisions. Thank you, Lord, for the great and mighty things you are doing in our, li in our lives. We are glad and we are grateful. Lord, we ask that you continue to increase us on every side, that we will continue to have more and more to give to the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. <laughs> Ebube, Ebube Jehovah Marama, Maduni Lena Si Ebube, Ebube Jehovah Marama, Maduni Lena Si Ebube, Ebube Jehovah Marama, Everybody testify the way you You are good, Jehovah. You are good, though. Everybody testify you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. You are good. You are good.
some people are not complimenting their neighbor. Say something nice. Even if it's a guy that is sitting beside you and you're a guy, say something nice to the person. Hallelujah. I trust we were blessed from the service of today. Can we say thank you, Pastor? second time. If you know today is your second time of worshiping with us, can you raise your hands? If you are worshiping with us for the second time today, can you stand on your feet while we welcome you again? May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. and the second time was I know God has already spoken to you that this place is your church so you're welcome PGMI is a home and you're welcome to this place please wait behind after service and then some people will meet with you talk to you and then welcome you properly thank you and we'd like to welcome our online participants or family can we give them a round of applause can we welcome them like we are welcoming our family? Please clap. Thank you. All right, so our weekly activities are as follows. Our Sunday service is, we have two services on Sunday. The first service is by 7 a.m., which is the student service like this, and it ends by 9 a.m. And the second service is by 9.30 a.m., which is the family service. You can choose to attend any of them, or you can choose to attend both of them. And then we have our Bible studies on Wednesdays by 5 p.m. And our Saturday prayer meetings, Saturdays by 6 a.m. Please endeavor to attend all the weekly activities. Don't just be a Sunday, Sunday person. Make sure you attend the Saturday and the Wednesday Bible study. It's always a refreshing time. And God will bless you as you attend in Jesus' name. Some people are not saying amen because they are not planning to come. God bless you as you attend in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Okay, so our pastor's counseling days remains Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. But for this month of May, he's not counseling anybody till we are done with the Strong and Lovely program. Hallelujah. So visit purposefully and decently. Contact the number on the screen. Contact the number on the screen to indicate or book an appointment for counseling. Okay, so the number is not there. I'll call it out and you can write it down. 081-3250-1079. 081-3250-1079. Somebody shout strong and lovely. Strong and lovely. What is coming up next week? See, what is more, very, very exciting about this thing is that what we've been, what we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. What is coming up next week, Wednesday? What is coming up next week, Wednesday? Okay, this week, Wednesday, sorry. What's coming up this week, Wednesday? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Glory to God. Okay, so the program will be running for three days. Wednesday. Okay, the program is three days away. It will be running from Wednesday till Saturday. And... We are advised that if you're functioning in any unit in the department, in the program, that you should wait behind after the service. You should wait behind after the service to put down your name with Bursam. I think Bursam, you should put down your name with Bursam after the service. And if you made any pledge concerning the conference and you are yet to redeem it, please, we beg you in the name of the Lord. Redeem your pledge. It's not right to promise God and then you fail. If God has never failed you, please don't fail him. If you made a promise or a pledge concerning the program, concerning the conference, redeem your pledge. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Pastor has already said a lot about tomorrow's rally. And I don't want to say further things because I know he has hit us deeply with the, what happened yesterday and the consequences of not coming for, to, for tomorrow's um, rally. So I'm hoping that everybody here will attend. If you attend, let me see your hand. Some people have made up their It's 3.30, and we are taking off 3.30. Not that we are gathering 3.30. We are leaving this place 3.30. If you'll be here, let me see your hand. If you'll be here, let me see your hand. Those of us who are not raising their hands, what happened? What happened? Okay. MD said you will come. So he's having faith on your behalf that you'll come for the rally. So we're expecting a crowd here tomorrow by 3.30. We'll be taking off by 3.30. Not that we are gathering. There is no African time. We are leaving by 3.30. Say we are leaving by 3.30. We are leaving by 3.30. Say I'm a kingdom person. I don't do African time. Okay. All right. All final years are to wait behind for a brief meeting after service. That is books, wisdom for relationship and maintaining the fire are available for sale. Okay, the ushers are waving them so you can get one for yourself. You can get a copy for yourself. Do the works of an evangelist. Invite people to church with a copy of the invitation card and flyers. See the ushers for copies. Download life-changing messages from our Telegram channel at t.me slash innocent eleke. The Bible says the entrance of the word giveth light, right? And it says faith comes by hearing and hearing. So there is double hearing. Download the messages and listen to them. Like, follow, and share our contents on social media handles, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Telegram at Province of Grace Ministries International. Okay, all May bonds are reminded to be present in the second service for their thanksgiving. So if you're born in the month of May, be available in the second service for a thanksgiving. You can wait behind to join the second service. Publicity unit members of the Strong and Lovely Conference, you wait after the service outside. 
strong and lovely conference is here already, and we are running it very differently this year. This is from the media units, and we'll be engaging the social media platforms with hashtags. So we are going to be doing something spectacular for every post you put on your social media platform. You should put hashtag strong and lovely 2023 and hashtag total restoration. Praise the Lord. Did we get that? Okay. Every post we make concerning the conference, we are all to tag the church at Province of Grace Ministries and also tag the conference at Strong and Lovely. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate her. That's a different way of being an answer. Amen. Pastor, I love you, Abby. You love me? How many of you love me? Wave your hands. Say, I love Pastor Innocent. John chapter 14. <laughs> Verse 15. We all read it together so I can close. Thank you, Jessica, for making them confess their love. What's happening, media? Yes? Want to go? Wait. We have rally tomorrow by 3.30. I'm not, I'm like my father. You know, you don't come to God and say, I love you, Lord. Lord, I embrace you. God will say, obey me. Do what I've said. If you do what God has said, even if you don't sing, <laughs> God knows you love him. Right? Do you still love me? How many of you love me? So how many of you will come for the rally? Yeah. So, if you say you love me and you don't come for the rally, you're a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's not true. You don't. Because you show it by obeying the things I tell you. You know, as I sat down, the Holy Ghost gave me this scripture. He very me. He just wind it in my brain. And he said, then, let me show you what he said I should now do for you if you do the one I tell you to do. Verse 16. And we talk to the Father. You see why some prayers I pray for you don't work? You don't obey me. Chicken, I say, do this. Let me, <laughs> pardon me, let me take you a few minutes. Let me show you how I broke into ministry. I was to travel and go home as a student. I didn't have money. Chicken, one night I don't have. I went to my pastor. I said, Pastor, I want to travel. My money has finished. My food stuff has finished. The man said, you are not going anywhere. I'm sending you for a program. I say, yes, sir. I don't have food. I don't have money. He didn't even give me. I say, yes, sir. On the Monday, I prepared. I say, sir, where did you say I should go? He said, go to that full gospel meeting in Oni and go and preach there. I went there, I finished preaching. The people sent him a message and said, we will not invite you again. Anytime we need you, send us your boy. He never went there again. That was my breaking thought into full gospel ministries. And only God knows how many full gospel chapters I've preached across nations by one act of obedience. Eh? All the trouble we have in the world, one man disobeyed. The salvation we are enjoying, one man obeyed. So, when you obey your leader, he says, he will talk to the Father on your behalf. And when you disobey him, that's why I told you, I will also talk to the Father about you. And say, you are giving me a headache. Some of you are giving me a headache in this church. Stop giving me a headache. Then he is but if you continue, I will talk to the Father on your behalf. And instead of providing an, a friend for you, <laughs> he will provide an enemy that will always you, be with you. You see why some troubles never left you. 
na go Bible, manu na da afia. You don't have light. There are things I don't struggle with. One day, my father in the Lord sent me to Oref. This is Oref we are going to. To go and organize the place because he has a meeting there. I went there. I walked. I didn't take my bath. I left my house 7 a.m. I walked till 4.30 p.m. From morning till 4.30. Arranged everything. And that day, Christian Union had invited me for a meeting. And they have been fasting for three days. I'm to close the meeting on the third day. As my father in the Lord arrived. I said, Daddy, I have sat everywhere in order. I'm going. Christian Union invited me for a meeting. And they are fasting and praying for three days. I'm closing the fast. He said, you are not going. He said, go outside and call them and tell them you are not coming. I said, yes, sir. I went out, called them and said, please, I can't come. Please. You, I said, please, I cannot come. The Holy Ghost be with you people. I said, okay, sir. Let me go and now prepare and come and refresh and get ready. Because he said, I will interpret for him in Igbo. Many of you don't know I'm an interpreter. I'm an Igbo interpreter. Solid one. He said, no, you are not going. I said, daddy, I have not had my bath. He's on suit. And I'm wearing just shirt. I said, I have not had my bath. He said, it will not show in the video. Stand here. And I stood there and finished that meeting by eight. No food, no water, no bathroom. Obedience. You can't disobey me and go free. Because I paid my dues. It's the truth. There are certain things I don't want to be telling you. Be very careful. Be very, very, very careful. It's either you are here or you are not here. When I say sit, you sit. I say stand, you stand. And then when I go inside, I will talk to the father. Concerning you. That's the way it works. So when you disobey me and I smile, I know that your bondage has increased. But what are any two ways about? Because you must learn obedience. Even Jesus learned it. Is that fine? Do you love me? <laughs> so go home and think about it. And before you tell anybody I love you, think about it. Male of you, before you may pause say, because we are careless with words. I love you. Before you go So that you go here. Somebody sees a woman and says, I love you. Then after 10 years, they divorce her. How? How did Jesus divorce the church? The Lord bless you. <laughs> uh, remember, you will come with your T-shirts. If you have not bought, meet them and pay and collect your T-shirt. Is that okay? So I will see how much love I'm going to gather by tomorrow. I'll be around, well kitted, to see how many. So once I come, I'll start shaking those who love me. Then I'll start scoping for those who don't love me. And then after that, I will now know what to do. The Lord bless you. Say amen now. This, this one is from my heart. The Lord bless you. Let the light of his countenance shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May your love be very real. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The grace in fellowship. And surely, shake five people and tell them, remember the radio. <laughs> First time I was with you.